holiday season is the perfect time to open your home to friends and family. Get out holiday treats, gather around the tree, and open presents. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. If you're not careful, you may have some uninvited guests joining you. The experts at Rice's Termite and Pest Control offer some advice to help you make sure those party crashers stay outside. The cold weather has us spending most of our time inside. Guess what? We're not the only ones looking for warmth. There's fall pests, you know, the mice, the crickets, and believe it or not, fleas get bad this time of year, too. Rick Rice of Rice's Termite and Pest Control says the best way to keep them out is to find out how they're getting in. Unfortunately, fleas hop a ride on your pets, even us, so there's little you can do to close down their passageways. Rick says same goes for crickets, but their time in your house is short. Generally, they die off with time, um, but if you can... If you can uh, stand them in the meantime, you know, singing in your house in the middle of the night, that's pretty much the worst they can do. Something that can do a lot of damage, termites. And in an effort to keep your family warm, you might be extending a warm welcome to several pests, including the wood-destroying ones. In with firewood, you can bring uh, stink bugs, um, crickets, small colonies of carpenter ants can come in with them, uh, millipedes and centipedes. I, and even that, you can bring in wood borers and, and wood-destroying beetles into the house, and that can be a problem. Um, that could potentially get expensive. Rice says you should avoid storing your firewood in the house or even in the garage or on a porch. It's best to bring in a piece from the pile straight to the fire. To keep other pests from making themselves at home inside your house, Rick suggests walking around your house and searching for entry points. Before winter sets in, you can make sure uh, any of your, you know, around your house, your garage, all the, um, your doors are sealed and tight. Um, uh, anywhere they can access into the crawl space, that's going to give them direct access into your house. Uh, around like your HVAC lines going in. Uh, make sure everything's sealed up as best as possible. Rice says mice are burrowing animals and are designed to squeeze into and live in very tight spaces. In fact, if a mouse can squeeze its head through a hole, the rest of the body can fit. Even uh, your rubber strips down uh, your overhead garage doors, just trying to make sure they're new. Um, sometimes, you know, a little piece may... Uh, may have broken off or, um, so, you know, something rubbed against it and just took a piece off and then mice and crickets and spiders, everything can get in there. Rick says they use a sealant that contains metal fibers when sealing breaches that mice may find. But their teeth are really tough. They can chew through a lot of things, but they, they don't like to chew through metal or the glass or anything like that. So. If you're not sure or would like more done to prevent pests from getting in your home, Rick says Rice's Termite and Pest Control can do an inspection and offer same day and emergency services. Yeah, there's nothing I hate more than being in my kitchen and seeing a mouse. Well, I wish you could have seen her off camera going, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, all the little pictures of millipedes and stuff like that. <laughs>